uh, on that subject, Dave Bona did a survey of at least half of his uh, platoon. Um, I know that, and I know I haven't been able to connect with all of my my platoon. Uh, I do know uh, I, we have seven percent seven percent suicide. Um, rate from, from my platoon. Dave's is very co close at six point something, so it's roughly seven percent. Um, neither of us have been able to connect with everybody. Uh, I suspect that the suicide rate could be as high as 15 percent uh, who have taken mefloquine. Um, I don't have evidence for that. Uh, I, I, I do have evidence for the seven percent, but unless they actually start going out and, and, and doing that connection, we're not going to know, and I believe that is why they will not do it. I believe they do not want to know. They do not want this escalating further than what it is. Yeah, they're trying to put out the fires uh, in all the wrong ways, where if you don't take a, a serious look at this, then you're putting people in positions of power and with decisions um, between life and death that may be not uh, connecting to the healthiest way of thinking, you know? Uh, I said that as part of my committee meeting, uh, I was asked a question, I can't remember what it was or who asked it, but um, basically it was, do you have friends in the forces that you, you know, still worried about or think that might have an injury like this as well? And I said, yeah, you know, you have people in those positions uh, basically hired to do violence that in an instant have to make that decision between life or death for someone else. And they might not be thinking with a clear brain. Yeah. When the absolute most important job as a soldier is making that choice because you have to live with that for the rest of your life, you know? Yeah, big time. But uh, at my regiment, uh, the Dragoons, we've had a lot of suicides. Uh, over the years and I know I spoke about that on the hill in 2017 when we went to the uh, first Mefquin awareness rally there in Ottawa and I got up and spoke on the suicides and I, I mentioned that you know the suicides are frequent but we don't forget it's like they just keep compiling and you know over time you're just left with a big sadness feeling that you have to suppress because you still got a soldier on and do your job but it's almost like we're still suffering those losses from the war uh, to the people that are just taking their own life. And it's just sad for the family. It's sad for the friends and children and wives. And I'm just happy I, for myself. I was able to uh, uh, find a, a healthier worldview, um, do things that are in my life. We can go into in detail some of the things that have helped me after and uh, get to a bit of a homeostasis type of existence 